Voices were silenced before their time. I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. Well, today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 assassinations in history. For this list, we're taking a look at political and social leaders who had their lives cut short. These are the unexpected deaths that shocked the world and changed the course of history. To show and to demonstrate that the true criminals hide under the clock of the ac accusers. Number 10. Philip II of Macedon. The man credited with inventing the political ideology of divide and conquer, Philip II was a successful ruler of Macedon. In the autumn of 336 BC, Philip was left unprotected while attending his daughter's wedding and was killed by one of his bodyguards, Pausanias of Orestes. Though the assassin's motives are unclear, some historians believe his wife and son Alexander III were involved. While others theorize Pausanias was a wronged lover of Philip's, the murder allowed for Philip's son, Alexander the Great, to ascend to the throne and create one of the largest empires in history. Number 9. Malcolm X And bring about the freedom of these people by any means necessary. As a militant voice of the civil rights movement, Malcolm X had long been a target of violence and death threats. I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago, and I live like a man who is dead already. After Malcolm X's very public break from the Nation of Islam religious movement, animosity between him and the organization grew. But you didn't endorse what Martin Luther King was doing yourself. Uh, I do not reject his goals of full integration and full equality rights for American citizens. Do you reject these If you goals? don't think that he's walking on the right road, I'm quite sure you don't agree that he'll get to the right place. Tensions boiled over during an address in Manhattan on February 21st, 1965, when three men shot and killed the civil rights leader. The nation took responsibility, and Talmadge Hare admitted his guilt, but the other two maintained their innocence. And the civil rights movement lost one of its most active leaders. Do you consider yourself militant? <laughs> I consider myself Malcolm. Number 8. Benazir Bhutto And I don't want you all to humiliate me. Everybody has to die. Though no longer Prime Minister of Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto was still a prominent political figure in 2007 as the first female leader of a Muslim country. On December 27th of that year, she was on the campaign trail for the upcoming parliamentary elections. Though she was equipped with a bulletproof vehicle, Bhutto was killed while standing through the sunroof to greet fans when shots rang out and explosives were detonated near the car. This is the last picture of Benazir Bhutto alive taken just before her assailant got close enough to blow up her vehicle. Al-Qaeda commander Mustafa Abu al-Yazid took responsibility for Bhutto's death, which sparked riots and quashed any chance of stability in the region. The announcement of her death sent her supporters into spasms of grief. Number 7. Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria if not for the events that followed the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, his name might have been just a blip in history. The murder of Ferdinand and his wife on June 28, 1914, set in motion a chain of events that resulted in the beginning of World War I just one month later. The motive of assassin Gavrilo Princip and his fellow Bosnian Serb revolutionaries was to break away from Austria-Hungary and form their own republic. The result was a conflict involving all the world's great economic powers and one of the deadliest conflicts in world history. Number 6. John Lennon Shot twice in the back, rushed to Roosevelt Hospital, dead on arrival. The cultural impact of the Beatles is difficult to overstate. The group inspired obsessed fans, including the dangerously infatuated Mark David Chapman. Chapman, once a die-hard Beatles fan, had become a born-again Christian and considered Lennon's comment that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus blasphemous. Well, I'm not saying that we're better or greater or comparing us with Jesus Christ as a person or God as a thing or whatever it is. You know, I would just said what I said and it was wrong or was taken wrong. Inspired by the anti-phony sentiment in J.D. Salinger's novel The Catcher in the Rye and his perception that Lennon was the ultimate hypocrite, 
Chapman visited the Dakota apartment building where Lennon and Yoko Ono lived on December 8, 1980, and after getting his autograph earlier in the day, shot and killed him. I thought by killing him, I would acquire his fame. Number 5. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Martin Luther King served as a star spokesman for the civil rights movement in America, pushing for the equality of African Americans through nonviolence. But he was silenced before he had the opportunity to see his efforts succeed. On April 4, 1968, the civil rights leader and Nobel Peace Prize winner was shot and killed by James Earl Ray as he stood on the balcony of his hotel room. King's death widened the gap between whites and blacks and spurred the expansion of radical African American movements like the Black Panthers. Like anybody, I would like to live. A long life, longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. Number four, John F. Kennedy. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tragedy has befallen many members of the Kennedy family. For example, JFK's brother Bobby was assassinated by Sirhan Sirhan in 1968 while he campaigned for president. But perhaps most famous was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963. Shot by a sniper's bullet while riding through Dealey Plaza in Texas, JFK's death is shrouded in conspiracy with the official story placing the gun in the hands of former Marine Lee Harvey Oswald. But since Oswald was shot just days later by Jack Ruby while in police custody, we may never know the truth for certain. There is a young He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. Number three, Abraham Lincoln. After guiding America through the most tumultuous time in its young history, Lincoln had locked in his legacy by 1865. But any other accomplishments he might have achieved were thwarted during a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. on April 14, 1865. With the Civil War drawing to a close, actor and Confederate John Wilkes Booth snuck into the president's box and shot him in the head. Booth then jumped to the stage with a knife and apparently uttered in Latin, thus always to tyrants, a phrase attributed to Brutus during Caesar's assassination. Lincoln died the next day. Number 2. Julius Caesar Perhaps history's most famous assassination, thanks to its retelling by Shakespeare, the death of Julius Caesar is memorable as both drama and historical fact. It too brutally then fall Caesar. After Caesar was named dictator for life by the Senate, a plan to remove him was almost immediately devised by Senate members calling themselves liberators, who feared Caesar threatened their power. Together, this group of roughly 60 of some of Caesar's closest allies violently beat and stabbed him to death. But their later attempts to install a tyrannical government were met with protests from lower-class Romans, and ultimately Caesar's heir Octavian gained power. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. They came into the crowd, shot into the crowd, shot Sadat, who slumped to the floor of the reviewing stand. Stalin's trial against me is built upon false confessions, extorted by modern inquisitorial methods in the interest of the ruling clique. In fact, Christ talks about love. It's very interesting. They carry this Bible in one hand and hatred in the other hand and said it's sinful. Christ himself said nothing about it. Once again, our top story this evening, the assassination today of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin gunned down at a pro-government rally tonight in Tel Aviv. Number one, Mahatma Gandhi. He spent his life as a symbol of peace, but died a victim of violence. In life, Mahatma Gandhi led India to independence from Great Britain using nonviolent tactics rather than revolution. Despite his success, 
Some objected to his peaceful approach, including Nathuram Godse. The Hindu nationalist disagreed with Gandhi's support of Pakistan and perceived preference towards Pakistani Muslims over Indian Hindus. This caused Godse to fire three fatal shots at Gandhi while he was in New Delhi on January 30, 1948. Millions subsequently honored the fallen leader, and his policies of compassion are still praised today. Now, this religious controversy, I know you don't want to say too much about it, but does it worry that it's going to boil up when you get to the state? Well, it worries me, yes, but I, I hope everything will be all right in the end of the day.